Hello, everyone. Welcome to Med School Moments. My name is Dr. Matthew Momjan, and today we'll be discussing how to build a successful foundation in medical school. In today's episode, brought to you by Med School Coach, you will learn how to leverage your learning environment and the medical school community to enhance your educational experience. Discover strategies for maximizing your experience and success in medical school through community engagement and understand how to create a solid foundation for a successful career in medicine. So being successful in medical school does involve success in the classroom, but it also requires you to be successful clinically, thriving personally, and preparing a competitive residency application. Let's talk about some tips to enhance your academic success. So I can't stress enough, preclinical years move so quickly and you need to learn the material well, the first time you learn it, you're probably not going to have a chance to come back to that material in depth. And the foundation from these preclinical years is essential, not just for step one and step two, but also for clinical rotations and your clinical knowledge on rotations, sub-internships, and residency. If you focus on trying to learn the material well, the first time you see it, studying for the boards will be more review instead of trying to learn a ton of complex material the first time. Another tip I have is to try to focus on physiology, really understand how the body works and how the systems communicate with each other. This is so important. And if you understand the normal, it becomes so much easier to understand the disease process and the abnormal. Pharmacology, clinical knowledge, management of patients, these will all come a lot more naturally once you understand basic physiology. Of course, you've probably heard this, but try to focus on understanding why something is the case instead of just blithely memorizing it. There are a lot of things you need to memorize. Hello, microbiology. But when you can, try to focus on learning why something happens and why something leads to something else instead of just memorizing the facts. Keep an eye out for concepts that come up over and over. These are things that are going to come up clinically and on your exams over and over as well and try to be really confident on these topics. As we've discussed, you really want to try to optimize your time management strategies and schedule your week and months well so that you can be as efficient as possible and have time to get through everything. And of course, beyond being in the classroom, you have to be successful as a clinician and as a person. And I have a few tips to share about how you can be more successful outside the classroom. Number one, of course, you have to perfect your physical exam, history taking, your presentations, and your documentation skills. Attendings are really going to notice this when you come in and you understand how to present a patient and you understand how to write a basic note. These kinds of things go a long way. This will help you get better letters of recommendation, evaluations, and hopefully help unlock the residency that you've always dreamed about. You want to try to take care of yourself by making relationship with your peers and keeping relationship with your friends and family outside of medicine. Make time for this. Make time for hobbies alone and with other people, things that make you feel better. This will help prevent burnout and be able to help you have longevity and continue to do well when you are working hard. It's really important to try to get exposure to multiple different specialties and career paths early on. I was curious about a couple different specialties before I actually landed on anesthesiology, which is what I decided to pursue. And I think that it's important to not write off any specialty until you've had some experience to it and understand what it's really like. Once you tr start to identify different specialties you may be interested in, try to focus on identifying some key mentors who may be able to help you throughout this process to get you to where you want to be. Of course, you have to focus on extracurriculars as well always good to have some research. You need a leadership experience, community service, and teaching and mentoring as well. It's important to give back to others who may be earlier in your education, just as they did when you were in their shoes. These activities, of course, can help you feel good about yourself and find meaning in the things that you do. And they'll also help you become a competitive and well-rounded residency applicant and help you end up in the specialty and the program that you want. I'm Dr. Matthew Momjan. And this has been a Med School Moment, brought to you by Med School Coach. If you want more personalized advice, scan the QR code on the screen or click the link in the description to book a free consultation with our enrollment team. Your path to becoming a physician is important to us. Take care.